So as school winds down and school programs come to an end, many families are facing a new problem this summer with the rising cost of groceries. But districts and food banks in South Jersey are now working together to make sure no child goes hungry. News of New Jersey's Erica Such has those details. I absolutely don't know how families are getting by these days. As the director of nutrition for Camden City Schools, Arlethea Brown's job is to make sure these kids are fed. And as grocery prices soar, she's seeing that need for food grow. The district offers a free breakfast, lunch and dinner year round. Yesterday I was at one of our schools and we had 35 kids and every single last one of the kids came in for a dinner meal. Here in the Camden City School District, 100% of students qualify for those free meals year round, but only about 70% take advantage of it. But the district says they're expecting that number to grow this summer with the rising cost of groceries. We're hoping to see the majority of our students that we would normally see on a day to day come in to get a summer meal. And it's not just in the schools, the Food Bank of South Jersey seeing new families turning to them for help. I'm seeing a 40% increase in participation at our sites since January. Every month it goes up. When we donate food or people come for us for donated food, that takes the place of, it gives them a little more discretionary income to go pay for the things that they really need to sustain their lives. The Food Bank of South Jersey offering food sites almost daily and says you don't have to sign up ahead of time. Camden City Schools with 25 sites across the city offering meals this summer. Both the school and the food bank say if you need the help, don't hesitate to ask. These programs allow parents to use their funds to get gas or look for additional groceries or uh, pay electric bill or water bill and continue to, you know, take care of their household rather than worrying about how their children are going to eat. In Camden, Erica Such, News 12, New Jersey.